one who fasts. Stand up in prayer at night, and Allah will forgive. Allah will forgive. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Al-Qa'il. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما Dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته And welcome to the new episode and we will continue what we started for Ramadan checklist and we will continue the topic which is the importance of the dua and I'd like to elaborate something and about the application we mentioned before that in this dunya, in this life, when people submit an application for a job, for travel, for whatever reason, application. So these applications might turn down, might get accepted and approved. وَلِلَّهِ الْمَثَلُ الْأَعْلَى but when you turn application to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah's, Allah's application will never be turned down. Every time you make a dua, prayer, that's just like an application. You just submit it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this application will not be turned down. So even Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam explained to us, Every time you make a dua request to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the three things must happen. One of the three things must happen. So the application will not be turned down, first of all. So either Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, first of all, might ex fulfill and accept and answer what you ask him for right away or after a while. So the dua and the request will come true. If that didn't happen, Allah will save it for you. For the day of judgment, in that day which is you really needed anything good for you, any good deeds, there's no need for the materialistic things up there. So Allah will say, I did not answer your dua, your application in the past life, but in this at that time and the hereafter, the day of resurrection, yes, I will compensate you and I give you what you missed in the past life. Subhanallah. And some women will really love it. They say, yes, Alhamdulillah saved it for me. If the first one didn't happen, the second one, then what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might not give you what you want. What you want. But he will save you from problem or something might it was prescribed for you to be, to attack you or to hit you or to bother you or something will really leave some harm on you. So Allah will save you from that because of the da'wah you just made. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, when he, people ask about who's Allah, what Allah is doing, Allah said, Muhammad, tell them, ujibu. My job is to answer and to fulfill the da'wah after a person asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala something. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears us, we ask him something. So we need to know that for sure. This dua, it's not like some word you throw, you throw in the air and no respond going to come after this. So the dua, basically, you ask in someone and we should know for sure that the dua will be answered and will not go away. We have to feel this sincerity and this yaqeen in the dua. And we need to continue the part of the dua. So see how much influence will leave on us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you, brothers and sisters, and your family. Till we meet again. Assalamu alaikum.
ورحمة الله وبركاته Oh, one who fasts, stand up in prayer at night, and Allah will forgive, Allah will forgive.